All right, and welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Mario Kart 7. I know this is kind of a random game to do a series out of the blue, but after watching the Mario Kart 8 trailer with all the new features, I have been wanting to play Mario Kart 8 so bad. So I've decided that Mario Kart 7 for the Nintendo 2DS and 3DS will have to do for now. So there are four different modes in this game. We have the Grand Prix, Time Trials, Balloon Battle, and Coin Runners. I'm going to be just focusing on the Grand Prix though. Within here, we have four different modes, so 50cc, which is the easy mode, 100cc for average, 150cc for challenging, and then mirror mode, which is the same thing as 150cc, only the courses are flipped. So I'm going to be just covering 150cc and mirror mode. That way, I can go ahead and play with all the Mario Universe characters. I'm not going to be playing any of the cups with my Mii character, just because I don't like using my Mii, but I will at least use him to show you guys the different cards. I have unlocked all the carts already, and as I scroll through them, I want you to look at the left over there, and you'll see that when you get a different body piece, tire piece, or also a gliding piece, it does change the speed, acceleration, weight, handling, and also off-roading, which is cool because now, for the first time in Mario Kart, you get a lot more freedom of what kind of racer you want to build off of. And also, of course, each character individually does have their own stats because there are light, medium, and heavy racers. So for instance, Toad over here, and also Shy Guy, who's my favorite ever. And they are the small, tiny, little light racers. There's medium racers. We have um, Mario and Peach, for instance, would be the medium racers. And then the heavy ones would be like Rosalina, Wario, Bowser. I'll try to mention what type of racer they are when I do eventually play with them. And you also notice that the cart colors do change per character so that it matches their um, color scheme, which is very nice. So we're going to kick things off with Mario and Luigi in this part. I'm going to play Mario for one cup and then we're going to switch to Luigi for another. So this Let's Play series should be just eight parts long, just short and sweet. Now with Mario, Hmm, I think I'm gonna just keep things simple. I'm gonna have the standard cart, the roller cart, and the super glider. And Mario is a medium weight class. So here are the cup options that we have. We have a top row and a bottom row. The top row consists of the mushroom cup, flower cup, star cup, and special cup. These are all the new tracks that came with Mario Kart 7. And each cup, as you can see, has four different tracks. Now the bottom row, these are all the retro cups. We have the shell cup, the banana cup, leaf cup, and lightning cup. I believe that this is something they started to introduce since Mario Kart DS and I love that they did this because you get to go back and you know, just get very nostalgic about all the old Mario Kart games you used to play, whether if it was with your siblings, friends, or what have you. So anyways, we're gonna kick things off with the first cup, Mushroom! And this has, let's see, Toad Circuit, Daisy Hills, Cheap Cheap Lagoon, and the Shy Guy Bazaar. So, as Mario said, let's go. So here we are at the Toad Circuit, and I just want to give you a heads up. It's possible that possibly, well obviously because it's possible, <laughs> that I might get just a tiny little bit frustrated, maybe. And when I'm frustrated, I may or may not cuss, and if I do, I'll try to watch myself. <laughs> but there's no guarantee. Now, if you have never played a Mario Kart game, what is wrong with you, first of all? But second of all, if you've never played one and maybe, you know, you go to a party and there's people playing this on the Wii or whatever, a good trick to know is to start accelerating when Lakitu is showing you the number two on the countdown. Because once you start accelerating on the number two, that's when you get an extra little speed boost here. Now you'll see little blue and sometimes red sparks uh, coming out of my cart from time to time. And this is because I'm actually using the right trigger to glide and it just gives you extra little speed boosts. In Mario Kart DS, there used to be this thing called snaking where you would constantly glide back and forth and it would basically be you going as fast as possible throughout the entire track. But one, it hurt hands like so much. At least it hurt my hands all the time doing that. And it just kind of seemed really boring. So they kind of tried to take it out though. Honestly, with some carts, you can sort of still do it and take advantage of that. Um, also, all of these coin pieces that we see around on the track, 
as you start collecting them, you do gain more speed. So for instance, right now I'm maxed out at 10 coins, which means that I am going as fast as possible, which is great, which would probably be why I'm in first place. Though being in the first place sometimes is not the best thing ever because then you're, um, you know, exposed to a lot of blue shells, which by the way, I just learned recently that they're not actually called blue shells. The official name for them is spiny shells. Oh no! Crap, I went into the sand for a little bit. Uh, but I'll probably still call them blue shells because that's what I've been calling them for over like, I don't know, 15 years or so. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished our first track and here is the points. So we have 10 points for coming in first place, second place gets 8, and third gets 6. Now, a funny thing to mention here is that each character does have rivals and Mario has all his rivals on this particular cup. So he has Metal Mario, Bowser, and Peach. <laughs> and they're all trying to beat Mario in Mario Kart. So let's go ahead and go to the next race. Okay, and here we are at the Daisy Hills. And, you know, it's not like the most exciting track ever in the world. The first cup is usually very basic and simple, just trying to get you used to the controls. So... Let's go ahead and get started, though I do appreciate this track because um, tracks like this certainly give you more information about Mario characters that you typically wouldn't. So I like to imagine that this is like Daisy's hometown and, uh, you know, it's not something you'd ever find out in a normal Mario game because she hardly shows up in them. So anyways, these mushrooms, they will give you speed boost and you can actually take cool little shortcuts with them, which is really handy. And also, there's like 18 items, I think. When you're in first place, though, typically you're gonna get green shells, um, tanuki tails, and also bananas. But bananas, they're like your best friends. And look, we just got three bananas! Awesome! And the bananas, they will save your butt. They basically can help block um, green shells, red shells. The only shells that they cannot block are the blue shells. Oh crap, I meant to throw that green shell behind me and it almost hit me in the face. <laughs> but at the very least, I was able to hit Bowser with it. And actually, it seems that Peach is our rival because she is always right next to us. Oh crap! No! That's what I get for looking at the bottom of the screen and not paying attention. And I didn't mean to use all my items, but it doesn't even matter because we got struck by lightning. And when you're struck by lightning, you're temporarily... Let's see, can I smash her? No! Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, when you're struck by lightning, uh, typically whoever's in first is the one that gets unshrunk the last. And then like everyone that's bigger than that person can actually smush them and flatten them like a pancake, which is adorable. <laughs> so I was hoping to show that off, but unfortunately I was not able to. And wow, actually Peach is really, really bringing her A game right now. She is trying to beat the crap out of us oh my god what did we do to deserve this we always save you from the castle and this is how you repay us can't you just let mario have his moment and come in first place for once now truth be told i actually really like peach <laughs> and when i race online i either race with um shy guy or peach i don't know why i just like those two a lot and i'm really happy because in mario kart 8 baby peach is coming back uh, from Mario Kart Wii, which is fantastic. I do not know why she did not chuck her red shell at me at all. That was weird. She was just holding on to it for whatever reason. Oh yeah, also you might notice on the scoreboard there that I have three stars next to my name. And the three stars are simply to indicate that I got a three star rating on all of the cups, on all of the modes. And uh, it's just like, I don't know, something for like bragging rights when you play online. Because when you race online and it shows the scoreboards for all the users there, uh, the three stars also show up next to my name. And speaking of which, the online for Mario Kart 7 is surprisingly good because if you're familiar with Nintendo games, typically their online is just abysmal. Oh, here we are at Cheap Cheap Lagoon. But with Mario Kart 7, you're able to create these communities and then you get one community code and you can give it out publicly and it will basically match make everyone who enters that code in and goes into a room. So it's really convenient. And I don't know if they've mentioned any of the online options in Mario Kart 8, but I do hope that that makes a comeback because it is just so convenient. And oh yeah, that's another thing I want to mention. In this one, we have eight racers, which is pretty legit. And you can also race with uh, eight people online. Now we just got our first star man, yay! And that's because we kind of started off uh, sort of early on 
in the beginning of the race, but I'm gonna try to hold on to it actually. If you can hold on to this and then like there's a blue shell in someone's inventory, it does not even matter. But Daisy, God <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um <laughs> I just I'm not gonna catch up at this rate if Daisy keeps doing that. Now I completely forgot to mention one of the biggest features about Mario Kart 7. So if you notice, sometimes I start gliding and even going underwater. And that is something completely new to Mario Kart 7, and they're bringing it back to Mario Kart 8, which I'm really glad. And not only that, but they're also adding this cool, like, anti-gravity stuff when Mario Kart 8. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to catch up without using any items. I'm not exactly sure if I'll be successful in doing that. But like I was saying, if you can get to first place and you have a yellow star in your inventory, you are basically guaranteed first place. However, you're not guaranteed first place if you're in fourth and not making any progress, getting all the way over there. But for whatever reason, Peach is right next to me at all times. Okay, there we go. Oh, we just got to go past Metal Mario. Come on. Okay. Get out of the way, dude. <laughs> so, like I was saying, though, if you look at the bottom screen, which, well, you guys just see it on one screen, so if you look, I don't know, wherever the hell I decide to place it, <laughs> you'll see where everyone is currently placed, and also you get to see what item everyone has. So it's a very easy and convenient way to tell who has what, so that's how you can tell when someone has a blue shell, but no one has had a blue shell at all! So this... You know, saving this item towards the very end was completely useless, but at least we get to have a flashy ending once we're done. <laughs> Yay, we're Rainbow Mario. So, fantastic. Look at that, we've come first place three times in a row. These computers don't have anything on us. To be fair, I have played over like a hundred hours of this game, so like, I'm pretty decent at it. I'd say, however, when I play online, I get my to me like all the time <laughs> here's the shy guy bizarre i love this track so much it's so pretty and i mean if you did not know already but shy guy is my favorite mario universe character in fact uh back when i played mario 2 you know the usa version that's when the shy guys were first introduced um i would never kill the shy guys i don't know why i just i love the color red so maybe that's why but honestly i was like probably i don't know three or four years old when i was playing that game and for whatever reason i still remember i would just never ever kill shy guys because i just thought they were so cute and they were never really doing anything too rude to me so i didn't see why <laughs> they deserved to die <laughs> and I would get really, really upset when my siblings would murder them. I'd be like, what did they do to you? They're just kind little people. So, oh, right there, I just got a mushroom that came out of an item, actually. Sometimes if you destroy items on the course, there will be um, item drops. There's actually a track in this game called Maple Treeway, which is from the Wii version. And there's like pile- oh, no, 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 no! Okay, sorry. That shy guy almost uh, <laughs> knocked me off the track. Oh no, lightning bolt. We're gonna get struck by lightning anytime soon. There we go. So uh, what was I saying? Oh God, I lost my train of thought. I apologize. I'm sure it will come back to me in just a moment. The lightning bolt just really messed with my head for some reason. Why is Daisy in first place? Excuse me. Someone needs to handle that, please, because that is just rude. I'm not doing too hot in this track though, as you can see. <laughs> I mean, in the other one I was like, oh no. Really? Out of all the places to land, I land on the banana. Okay, well anyways, let's keep going. And I guess we can chuck some of these here. Um, oh right, so in Maple Chiwe from uh, the uh, Wii track. Wow, Daisy's really far ahead. I didn't mention this, but if you touch the bottom screen, you can see where everyone is on the track. Um, otherwise, you just get this really beautiful illustrated mini-map. But okay, we're in the front lines with everyone else. Now, wow, let me talk about Maple Chiwe. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep getting distracted. Um, so in Maple Chiwe from the Wii, it made a comeback in the retro course in this game. And in it, there's these leave piles. And when you rush through them, items can come out. So there's like mushrooms and also even star men can come out of it, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's like another way to get extra speed boost. I have not been doing too great. I mean, Daisy has been kicking both Peach's and so I don't really know what that's all about, but man, I want to take down that so bad. 
Oh, look, there's a star man right there. Yes! Invincibility in first place. Could you ask for anything more? Oh my god, glorious. <laughs> I just love when stuff like that happens. I'm gonna leave that bomb over there for Peach, and it got her. Awesome. The way you can tell is if you looked um, over there, you'll see that she kind of spun out of control. That's how you can tell when you hit someone. Also, whoever you're playing with will usually go like, or or whatever, and that basically is a, you know, way to tell by audio that you hit someone. So wow, we got first place in every single track. I mean, the final race, it was kind of scary. I wasn't sure if we were really gonna get it or not, but let's see, I came in first, Peach came in second, and Daisy came in third. All right. <laughs> well, now we're gonna watch the winning ceremony. <laughs> so it's just a cute little cutscene that they do, which is awesome. And congratulations! We got first place with a 3 star rating. Oh yeah! So we're going to be doing one more cup in this part, and we're going to be playing with the other Mario brother, which is Luigi, of course. So here we go. Let's select Luigi, and let's choose a different card this time. Let's see. What kind of cart would Luigi drive? Hmm. Ooh, I kind of like the little plain one. I never used that one. I also like the cloud. Uh, let's go select the plane. Here we go. The soda jet. Now, I love the roller wheels, you know, and they love me because I just get along with them so well and they always treat me right and take me out to dinner, but I don't know. I guess I should choose another wheel for you guys. Should we go fancy and gold? The thing is, the handling on this is such crap. Well, whatever, you know, Luigi likes the finer things in life, so he's gonna go kind of a gold hybrid. Just has a gold jet, no problem. Or actually, let's see what other options we have available. Mm, it doesn't even really matter. We'll just represent his colors, so we'll, we'll go with the super glider so we can show off his green. Now we're gonna be doing the Flower Cup, which has Woohoo Loop, Mario Circuit, Music Park, which is my favorite track from the game, and it's making a comeback in Mario Kart 8, which I'm super happy about, and also Rock Rock Mountain. So let's get started. So here we are in Woohoo Loop, and this is a really interesting idea, though I have to complain, sort of, okay? So this track is not really based off any Mario character, it's based off of Wii Sports. Maybe they threw it in for the Mii characters for all I know, I don't know. But they have two tracks like this based off Wii Sports. And I, I don't know why they felt compelled to add two tracks from Wii Sports in Mario Kart. I just felt that one would be more than enough. And I would rather have some character themed tracks, but whatever. Uh, but what's interesting about this track is that instead of going in a whole bunch of laps, this is just, oh, come on! F Okay, anyways, like I was saying, what you can do is it's just one long track. It's not like multiple laps. So you have a start and then you have a finish and that's it. And we're doing, you know, I'm using the star, man. We need to catch up. We're so behind. Now let's hurry up and go. What was Mario doing there? I don't know, but we just ran over him. So I should mention Luigi's rivals that you can have. So Luigi's rivals are Mario, Daisy, and also Yoshi. However, Yoshi is absent from this race. So we just have Daisy and Mario, and Daisy is ahead, so I'm gonna assume that she is our rival for this cup. Now, let's see if we can get going. Also, there is a shortcut up ahead. I can never do the shortcut. You see that over there? Look, there's like a little speed boost right there with the orange and like you hop and stuff. I have tried so many times to do that shortcut and I have failed miserably each and every single time. Now, why is Daisy and Peach always in first and second place? Come on now, let's see. If we can catch up, oh man, if there was a blue shell that would be throwing at Peach's face, that would be wonderful. <laughs> oh my god, come on, someone gets something. For some reason, DK has a golden mushroom. Metal Mario, pick up an item, come on, help a brother out. I mean, they should make a Metal Luigi, why isn't there a Metal Luigi? Then again, why isn't there a lot of things in life? Now, come on, hurry up. Ah, oh, Daisy, stop. Oh good, yes! She got in a car accident! Okay. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> we did it. And look, we made Daisy come in third, I think. Or, oh no, we didn't. I thought we did after we blew her up. <laughs> All right. So Peach Gain in a car accident is like the best thing that could have just happened to me there. <laughs> now let's go to the next track. Here we are at Mario Circuit, featuring Princess Peach's castle and these beautiful cherry blossoms. And if you play Animal Crossing right now around this time in April, you have those beautiful cherry blossoms falling from the sky as well in beautiful 3D. That's another thing I didn't mention. Since this is on the Nintendo 2DS and 3DS, if you play on the 3DS, you can play in 3D. But if you do, your eyeballs will probably melt. <laughs> I prefer to play with just 2D. Um, otherwise, I do get a headache relatively easily. Now let's take these shortcuts. Yay! Alrighty, and oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. I'm sorry, there's so many good things about this game that I'm failing to mention. And okay, unfortunately, you know, you probably can't hear the music all that well over my voice, but I do want to mention when you're in first place um, and you're winning by a considerable amount, an extra layer of percussion actually gets added onto the track that you're playing with, which is really cool. It's like an extra little funky beat. It's like the game is cheering on for you, which is great. Oh, no! God! I mean, I just wanted to like, oh, I'm such an idiot because what you want to, oh my god, whatever. <laughs> if you notice, what I did wrong there is I threw the red shell a little too early. I was really eager to um, hit Daisy, but because like, oh crap, I missed the shortcut there. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that red shell just zoomed on past her. Usually that projectile is like a honing one and will go straight to them, but... I clearly messed that up some- No! Blue shell! God, I was so distracted that I didn't even notice that! And now there's a bomb up ahead. Oh, sweet... Jesus! Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, Mario Kart, man, it is a battlefield. <laughs> and this game, though, I gotta say, it is way, 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 way more fun when you play this with friends. If you ever have the opportunity to play this um, at someone's house, definitely take advantage, because it is just hysterical. And... Also, uh, I gotta say though, if you're new to the game and you play with people that have been playing for a while, chances are you may not come in like the top three places, but if you just try to glide back and forth as much as possible and take all the shortcuts that you possibly can, then you'll be good. But the problem is that usually you have to play the track at least, you know, like two times so that you learn where the shortcuts are. Though if you're like me, sometimes you can find out where they are and then you can't do them like the one in the previous tra- no! 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 Brick wall! God! Why brick wall? Who put that brick wall there? Peach? She intentionally did that? Oh my god, maybe I can still- No, I don't- I don't know. It depends on what item I got. Okay, here we go. No! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, Mario, throw the blue shell! Mario, throw the blue shell! Oh my god, you threw it way too late! God! you, Mario! <laughs> Way to not help a brother out! Well, that was rude. If Mario would have thrown that blue shell immediately after he got it, I totally would have been in first place. <laughs> well, you know, it's the first time we got into second place, so it's not that bad. But that stupid brick wall, man! Oh, it's okay, we're at Music Park. I need to relax. Music Park is my favorite track. It's so good. Look at all those little happy notes. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's gonna be like little keyboards and xylophones and stuff, and when your carts go over them, it plays the little notes and stuff, which is pretty amusing, so I like that a lot. Now, we gotta make sure that we beat Daisy, though. Come on. You know, I should probably watch what I say. When I say beat Daisy, obviously, I mean in a race, nothing else. <laughs> so right here, listen. <laughs> You'll see how the little piano plays, which is adorable. Now- OH GOD, NO! Okay, well that was rude. Um... <laughs> all these bombs just being chucked out of nowhere. So, we're kind of racing by some heavy drivers. We have Rosalina and also DK. And... OH NO! <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyways, with the heavy racers, um, if they run into you, they can like knock you off the track if you're not careful. But we're a medium. Oh no! God, the handling on this is such crap. 
I, I, I should not be doing that. I'm sorry. I know how annoying it is when you watch someone game and then they start blaming it on the cart. I'll own up to my mistakes. I'm just going to say that I'm doing terrible and it's nothing to do with these awful golden wheels. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I get for cheating on my roller wheels. Roller wheels for life, man. Those are just the ones that work for me. And that's another thing. If like you just cannot come into like the top three at all, you just have to kind of experiment with the different carts and characters and find which one works best for you. And for me, I love playing with the train set, um, either the roller wheels or even the wooden wheels. I actually like in this game a lot, and I prefer the tiny characters. So that's why I really like Shy Guy, and that's why I'm also happy for, like I said earlier, Baby. Peach to be making a comeback in the Wii U version. At least I think I mentioned that. And that's because she is a small weight character. And also, speaking of which, if you guys have not seen the Mario Kart 8 trailer, you should definitely do that because there's a whole bunch of new characters being added. Mostly, uh, well, I guess I won't spoil it in case you're wanting to find out by yourself who's been added. But um, it's pretty cool who they decided to add. And the tracks on that game look so good. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should just be focusing on Mario Kart 7, not 8. But isn't this track so beautiful? It's just so well- No, Rosalina! Rose- wait, what am I doing? Just break. Okay, Rosalina, do it! Oh god, Rosalina, please! Okay, Rosalina. Oh no, oh my god, what has happened to my life? What has happened to my life? I was like in- Oh god, no! Oh god, no, Rosalina! <laughs> Why? Why? No, get out of the way! Oh my god, okay, that was awful. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't have a flawless finish like I did when I was playing with Mario. Oh god, I think I came in second! No! Okay, actually, there's one more track. I thought that was the final track. Oh, man. Daisy could possibly win this. Alright, we gotta be sure to come into first place, otherwise, we're done for. And we're gonna place in second, and that is unacceptable. So... Then again, Luigi is kind of used to coming in second, isn't he? <laughs> Here we have Rock Rock Mountain, the final track for the Flower Cup. So let's see if we can do better than we did in Music Park. Oh, also, if you're watching this and you're from uh, the UK or I don't know, anywhere outside of the US, uh, chances are that the track names may differ from uh, the one that I have. Because I know Music Park is called something else in uh, different regions. I just can't recall the name of them. I don't know why they decided to do that, but they did. So, just felt like I should mention that. Alrighty. Um, well, so far, we haven't been harassed by anyone just yet. <laughs> I need to remember to collect as many coins as I possibly... Right as I say that, I completely miss a whole circle of them. Are you kidding me? Well, oh no, Mario, come on now. I mean, I didn't really want to use my green shell there. I wanted to use it as protection, <laughs> otherwise I'm just screwed. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn you, Peach. Alrighty, well, now we have these three bananas. God, I cannot glide too well with this cart combination. There I go again, flaming the cart. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but seriously, it's just so frustrating, but I will definitely keep choosing different carts because that way it's not so boring and repetitive watching me use the same carts and people over and over again. So, you know, whatever. Oh god, no, not whatever. Daisy's up ahead. Screw it. Let's use those bananas. The bananas. And try to see if we can catch up to first place. Because we need to. If we don't, we're going to be so screwed. So just keep rushing. Dude, Daisy is just the master of avoiding red shells. Like, I don't understand. Daisy or Peach just threw one at her. And it completely avoided her. Oh no! What? Oh god, I went right through the cracks of that. Are you kidding me? That is incredibly unfortunate. <laughs> okay, well we're in first right now. Hopefully no blue shells will be making an appearance anytime soon. Because Daisy is right behind us. And it just seems that every time we're in first with Luigi, he just kind of gets some bad luck. And a whole bunch of random crap just comes out of nowhere. But at least we have the triple nanners. To protect us which is very important in this situation right now so all right come on i just gotta keep gaining speed and just keep going if i do see a blue shell though i probably will break because i think i can go back in time for it to hit someone else now good we can take three more hits because we have the two bananas and the green shell 
Oh, here's another thing I didn't mention, and I apologize for this. Uh, but if you hold down the L button, the L button is how you use items. Uh, but if you hold it, that's how you can actually hold items behind you. With the triple bananas, you don't have to do it, but like with the green shell, if you hold it, then it will stay behind your character. And awesome! Okay, so we came in first place, both in the final track and in the cup in general. Look, Daisy came in six. So, haha. <laughs> she still came in second overall, though, so let's go ahead and watch the little winning ceremony for Luigi. All right, and that concludes this part. So we got first place in the flower cup and <laughs> we got a one star rating that time because we didn't do so hot, but that's all righty. So in part two, we will be playing with Princess Peach and also Yoshi. So I hope that this was somewhat entertaining, hopefully. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.